Funeral services are held for the Henderson native killed in that shooting at a bank in downtown Louisville. Juliana Farmer was one of five people killed in that shooting at Old National Bank on April 10. Services were held today at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Henderson. Farmer had just recently moved to Louisville and began working at Old National as a loan analyst. Her obituary says that she had been there for just two weeks and one day when that shooting happened. Good evening, I'm Brandon Bartlett. We start tonight with breaking news out of Warwick County. Indiana conservation officers say that a body was found this morning at the Bluegrass Fish and Wildlife Area. Officers say that a passerby found the body around 7.30 this morning. The Warwick County Coroner's Office will schedule an autopsy. The victim's identity is being withheld until family can be notified. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact Indiana DNR. We will, of course, continue to follow this story and keep you updated on air and on Online. Well, tonight marked the return of the annual special needs prom in Henderson. The free event was hosted by the Brain Injury Adventure Camp, a nonprofit group in Roberts. The group seeks to bring outdoor adventure opportunities to those suffering from traumatic brain injuries. Its founder tells us after the pandemic postponed the event the last two years, it's great to see the turnout and those attending enjoying themselves. You know, we forget about the people with special needs and, they, and their need to be special and, you know, be as normal as the rest of us, enjoy a prom, and just have a great time. Well, the theme of this year's prom was Candyland. This is the eighth special needs prom the organization has put on for the community. More than 85 veterans boarded a plane this morning for an experience of a lifetime, and tonight they're back home in Evansville. The Honor Flight of Southern Indiana took a trip to Washington, D.C. today. Veterans got to see war memorials built in their honor. When they came home, they were welcomed back with a parade at the airport. Our own Ron Rhodes announced every veteran as they walked into the airport tonight. A big day for our local veterans. 